And good evening, Southeast Texas. Cloudy skies here in Beaumont, courtesy of Howe Furniture and cloudy skies over in Port Arthur, where it's 65 degrees right now. Again, the severe weather threat will be Friday evening till dawn Saturday morning, then a cool, dry weekend. Wet weather next week. Few showers out there now streaming off towards the north and east uh, over towards western sections of Hardin County and to Tyler County, a heaviest activity in and around and just north of Saratoga. Again, those are streaming on off towards the north. No big deal. We're currently at 73 on the Kubota Beaumont Tractor Weather Watcher Network in Bevel Oaks. Bill reporting uh, 71. Lynn over in Mauriceville at 70. And in Hampshire, Tim reporting 69. And it's currently 68 over into Jasper. Temperatures across the state are very mild into the 70s and 80s. Behind the front, though, they're into the 50s and 60s. That front is stalled right now, but it's going to be moving in our direction coming up tomorrow. Warm front currently lifting on off towards the north. And, of course, the very strong subtropical jet stream overhead. That's going to cause lift in the atmosphere ahead of our next disturbance. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at an extended look at future cast. This is one particular model. As you can see, not a big deal coming up tonight as we're expecting uh, maybe a 20% coverage. It's going to be a windy night. Then tomorrow we'll give it about a 20% coverage until, uh, say, 7 p.m. tomorrow night. High temperatures will likely be into the mid-70s. You can see light stuff right on through noon and through 3 p.m. Light stuff, just going to be warm and humid. And there we go, through 7. No big deal tomorrow. It's after that, tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. That's when we expect a squall line to be hauling across the state. You know what I mean? It's going to be moving very quickly. That's the good news as far as uh, dropping the uh, heavy rainfall. I don't think that's going to be an issue. One, maybe two inches of rainfall. The big issue is the wind damage potential. Not guaranteed, but the potential is there for wind damage. What are we talking about? Uh, I think everybody's going to see at least a wind gust of 40 miles an hour, and we could see some 60, 70, hopefully not 80 mile per hour, but that is certainly in the realm of possibility. No guarantee, and then you can't rule out an isolated tornado or two. It's because of a lot of rotational energy in the atmosphere because of this very strong trough of low pressure moving on in through east and northeast Texas. On the Gulf of Mexico, choppy seas around 2 to 4 feet in your coastal marine forecast tomorrow. We'll see southeast winds at 15 to 20 knots. Use caution. Tonight, a 20% coverage of showers, breezy, warm, and humid. These low temperatures are where our high temperatures should be this time of year. Low to mid-60s with, uh, again, winds here in the triangle gusting at times to 25 miles an hour. So again, tomorrow, 20% coverage during the day. Then tomorrow night, that amps up to 100% coverage as that squall line moves through. So, again, the entire area is under an enhanced risk. Again, marginal. Then the number two is slight. Third level is enhanced. There is a moderate risk further towards our north. Again, damaging winds, I think, is going to be the main issue. Can't rule out isolated tornadoes and, to a lesser extent, hail as we head on in uh, to Saturday morning. So I think by Saturday morning, that line will be east of us. But again, one, two, it'll be moving into the lakes in about three, four, five, and through the triangle. I think it'll be out of here by dawn. Look at the temperatures falling through the day on Saturday. Sunday, beautiful after a chilly start. And I wish I had better news. I'm just, I'm just not doing real well on, uh, on uh, public opinion right now. <laughs> now. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and this could go on into Saturday a week away, a long extended period of wet weather for Southeast Texas. Better enjoy the weekend because it's not looking pretty. I can't remember the last time we've had an entire week, literally. Well, let me see. I, I just put together this, the 10 day forecast day, Janique. And yeah, and I, there do he have goes. It, I have it all the way uh, through Saturday. So we've got Monday, Monday, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six days of wet weather. Six days. All right, if the models are right. All right. Well, we're telling you what to expect. Just prepare for it.